So now what we're going to do is that we're going to take the string of the guitar, visualize the air parallelly with the slinky as it compresses and gets pulled back and see both as a graph and watch what we observe. So the string of the guitar moves upwards, compresses air that's equal to somebody pushing the slinky, pushing it that way and that's equal to somebody creating a pressure up in the air and that's going to be represented with, an, with a little peak in the graph as you can see. So the pressure peaks. And now the string of the guitar is going to get pulled back. In other words, there's a pressure drop. And in this way, the slinky is going to get pulled back again. So the compression of the slinky has gone a little forward and the spring has gone a little forward. But the back is a little more elongated. And that in the graph is represented as a down. Yeah, so a trough, a crest and a trough. So what have we really shown here? There's a pressure up and a pressure down. And that's the way of visualizing it. And this is the way in which you will draw it as a graph. Now what is going to happen now is it's going to repeat again. So you're going to get the string to move forward again. So one more compression, one more up. So you will let this run through time and that's what you will observe. Right? The string compressing and rarefacting the air, compressing, pushing it back, compressing, pushing it back. So on with the slinky and slow on with the graph. The graph is a good way to visualize this. Rather a very, very convenient way to visualize what's happening for us. And you can also begin to observe that the graph is actually more suitable, more intuitive for a transverse wave, right? Because that's exactly how if you had set up a wave in a string, that's exactly how it would have looked. Right? In this case, it happens to be what we are observing happen to be what kind of waves? That's right, longitudinal waves because the particles of air are pushing and they are compressing that way. So each particle of air, what is it really doing? It's just moving away from its position and coming back and it's oscillating back and forth about its position. This way and the sound itself is moving in the same direction. Therefore, it's a longitudinal wave. So longitudinal waves are usually a little difficult to visualize. Therefore, the graph actually gives you more of a transverse representation of it. Because if you had taken a string and done that, that's the graph is how it would have looked. But in this case, that represents the sound and the slinky, both of which are longitudinal waves.